have a Korean grocery store in Ann Arbor. We're kind of in an interesting position just because Corona hit Korea pretty hard. And when we first heard that it came to America, my mom and I were looking for ways to just kind of close up shop and try to keep ourselves safe. Because, you know, it's one thing to be in business, but it's also another to kind of survive. So it was kind of a drastic measure, but we decided to just close the doors and not anybody from the outside into our store. But at least I could still service the community and have it be safe. The entire industry is now in a boon. And yeah, almost everyone else is just like really happy until I think this week when some of the vendors that I talked to today were telling me that they were slowing down. And so our ramen prices went up a little bit, our rice prices went up a little bit, but we just kept it as it was and it was sold out um, within two days. You go to Costco, the first thing you do is you grab whatever the heck they're buying and multiples of. But I was shutting down anyone trying to buy two bags of rice at 40 pounds, um, unless they had like a compelling reason. It's a neighborhood-ish grocery store and it's for the community. I've been told by a number of people that I would go bankrupt because I try to be more honest than not. But I feel like if there's one business where you shouldn't be messing around with anything is food because people need to eat food. And if you start messing with it, then what kind of monster are you? As of right now, if I could build an app, that would be the best. But it's kind of like killing two birds with one stone. If we were to set up an app, we're going to need pictures and figure out it'd be a good idea to just put pictures together. So now we have this policy of email us your order. And in an effort to minimize more personal contact, Venmo and PayPal are our choice. And we just set it up on the table. And when I go back in, they would come out and get it. Keep like at least a two to three meter buffer. And that's just kind of how it goes. This pandemic is a huge game changer. And question is, are you willing to sacrifice what you've known to adjust to this new reality? And that's really tough. And a lot of the times, big boys could handle it a lot better. But I feel like there's always going to be opportunities. You get to have the cake and eat it too. Like, I get to protect my family and I get to protect my customer's family to a degree. One of the reasons why I wanted to do this was in hopes that maybe somebody else could replicate what we're doing. The fact that we're doing it this way, hey, other stores can choose to, especially as like a smaller business, you need to be ready for anything that comes your way and be flexible enough to change. And I'm very glad for the fact that we were flexible enough. A lot of architects are trying to design buildings like, like skyscrapers, like a bamboo. And I couldn't fathom that concept. Like how could these concrete masses just be flexible in the wind? But if they aren't flexible, they would just snap in half. I feel like right now is that time where you need to be flexible and kind of see how you could manage in the interim and also have enough manpower to get back or take over once the storm's gone.